Hello, you guys. So this is to help you work through your volcano packet. So the first one was based off of our PowerPoint. If you didn't get the answers all written down in class, go ahead and pause the video right now and take a look at what we wrote because you'll need this information. So the next page is an article called Volcanoes. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to read this to you guys. Volcanoes. Exploding volcanoes show us the power of nature and what it is capable of. Did you know that a volcano is actually a hole in the Earth's surface? Magma, hot gases, ash, and rock fragments escape from the inside Earth through the hole and erupts. Magma is then called lava when it reaches the Earth's surface. Scientists categorize volcanoes by their periods of activity. If a volcano recently erupted or is erupting, it is called active. If it has not erupted in a while, but there is a possibility that it might in the future, it's called dormant. If it erupted thousands of years ago and there is no way it'll and there is no way it will erupt again, it is called extinct. Scientists classify classify volcanoes into three main shapes: cinder cones, composite, and shield volcanoes. Cinder cone volcanoes are circular or olive cones made up of small lava oval cones made up of small lava fragments called cinders. They are the most common type of volcanoes. Composite volcanoes are the tallest and the steepest. Mount Fuji in Japan is an example of a composite volcano. They are composed of many layers of volcanic rocks. Shield volcanoes are shaped like a bowl and they are generally shorter than the other types of volcanoes. Volcanoes are definitely dangerous because they can burn everything in their path so it's best to stay far away from them especially if they're active. Okay, we'll turn it to this page. So now we're gonna read this section and then we're gonna answer the questions next to it. All right, so let's go ahead and read this section and then we're gonna answer the questions. Exploding volcanoes show us the power of nature and what it is capable of. Did you know that a volcano? Okay, so actually this section is what we just read over here. They just put it on this side so that you could have it accessible as you read the questions. So number one, true or false? A volcano is a hole in the ground filled with water. Circle true or false. Number two, what is the difference between magma and lava? Number three, there are three different stages of volcano activity to their periods of activity. What are they called? Your choices were, um, one is erupting all the time, what's that one called? One could erupt again, but right now it's not, and one will never erupt again. Number four, if a volcano has not erupted in 12,000 years and will not erupt again, it is known to be what? Number five, Mount Fuji in Japan is what type of volcano? Number six, what type of volcano is short and shaped like a bowl? Number seven, what are the most common type of volcanoes? The next stage in your packet is this one three stages of volcanoes, active, dormant, and extinct. You will use this page to finish the page in your notebook, which is this page, okay? Underneath the tab, you write the definition of an active volcano, which you can get from this page. Same with dormant and extinct. Make sure you color that one. That one has to be colored. Your next page is your vocabulary. So these are all the vocab words for, voca for volcanoes and their definitions. In your science notebook, you should have this page. This page has all the definitions and you need to fill in the words. Here's the words. So you use this sheet to fill in this sheet. The next page is the vocab. So you have magma, lava, eruption, dormant volcano, active volcano, extinct volcano, molten volcanic ash, vent, and crater. And then over here you have the definitions. So the first one is A, volcano that has not erupted recently but is expected to erupt again. That is a dormant volcano. So number four is dormant, so I would write A on that line. Okay. The last sheet that should be in your science notebook is your parts of volcano page. Okay, so make sure that that's in there as well. 
And that is it for volcanoes. Let me know if you have any questions.